those games are like that and they always have been is because we just we, we all know each other so well we've all played against each other the players know each other they play against each other in the summer like it was just it was so hard for both teams to score because you know we know what they do they know what we do we watch each other all the time we play each other it, it was it was a, it was a, you had to be really mentally tough in that game and they are a very very experienced mentally tough team and they have been for last last year and this year and um, and it's it's that's a good win for us for our young guys to be able to compete mentally with them um, and then forget their talent they're talented um, and well coached so it's it's a good win for us. Yeah, and they are, and in some cases they're harder because it's not just the coaches knowing each other. The players have played against each other. Some of them are not. They're, there's, there's no surprise. Everybody knows who goes right, who goes left, who is a confident shooter, who isn't. Um, you know, and then you've been here a couple of years. You've played against each other each year. You know, you watch the games on TV at home, the local games on, you're watching it. So it, it's, it is like a conference game, and in some ways it's more difficult. Why did you decide you weren't going to win this game with a three-point line? Again, because we know they're not going to let you. But, and... Um, and it's not that you're not going to try, but you just, you know, some teams just aren't disciplined enough to stick with it. You just know they are. Even in years past when we beat them, we didn't get threes. And, and they're very committed to their style of play. And a lot of people are, but they don't execute it. They, they execute it really well. And you know they're not going to, they're not going to break down. And that's why the mental part of it is really tough. Yeah, yeah, because we don't, you know, and especially our guys, the coach with us, like that's, that's a freaking nightmare because they know, you know, and Steve's been in Philly a lot and, you know, they've beaten us doing that. He knows. So, um, you know, you, and that's why I think to Terry's question about it being a, a league game, those games, I've said this forever, those games help us because you see the teams that know you, what they're going to do against you, and, and then it helps you prepare for what they're going to do against you in the league. Definitely. A feel for Big East play. Definitely. We 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 uh, looked forward to this game. You know, it, 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 honestly, it wasn't about winning or losing. It was just about being knowing that we were going to be tested. Our discipline was going to be tested. Our mental toughness was going to be tested. Our execution was going to be tested. And then we're going to see where we were. And then we're going to go back to work tomorrow, win or lose. You know, and we happen to win. But if we lost, we'd be, we won't be happy. But. We we know okay they're going to take away the threes they're going to be physical they're going to they're going to uh, you know not play certain guys and you know Steve's a really good coach as Ashley is they all do the same thing to us you know so but they're good coaches they know what they're doing. Was it in the game plan that it was going to be a Sadiq Bay kind of night? You you hope you hope you hope so yeah like you you know his his size and his ability to put the ball on the floor was going to be advantageous and you you knew that um, that Jeremiah's versatility, you know, being able to guard. You know, Brodeur's got 42 assists on the seat before this game. He's as good as any point guard you play against, and he's at the five spot. So how many five got five men can guard him, you know? And I don't even know what he had, but he was a killer. It doesn't matter what the numbers were. He was an absolute killer. 18 points. You know, six assists is actually pretty good against him because he's such a great passer. Jeremiah did a great job. I would say he's a really experienced player. Like, he knows what he's doing. He knows I'm a younger guy, and he can exploit that. So I feel it's a really, it's a really good, t a fun task to go against players like that that are experienced, and it can make you better mentally to fight through things. Like, he was scoring a lot in the paint, kind of make me tougher, and he's really good with the ball. So just kind of being disciplined when guarding him. But it's fun playing kind of players like that. I would say, I would say, I mean, I, every, I feel like everybody gets confidence when they make their plays, but I would say just, it's just fun going out there, just playing with our team. But a, a lot of people get confidence doing that, but it's just fun going out there. Did you 
you've got a, a you're obviously kind of knew early that this was going to be an inside kind of night. You guys went out to go inside and get your, get your points. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's all a testament to our coaching staff. You know, coach <laughs> got on us about just trying to get downhill. And uh, even when it seems like we're open on the shots, that's what they uh, pride themselves in and force enough to take, you know, tough, tough uh, contested jumpers. So just join, going downhill, just trying to, because we work on that every day in practice, just trying to, uh, you know, po post up, draw to the basket. Um, they, they gave us the opportunity. So uh, luckily we just converted on that. Jeremiah. For sure, I, the coaches have told me, the players have told me, it, it's just so important these games because it's so historic. How like the Big Five back then was just the biggest thing. I don't know a lot of history about it, but I can just see from the energy coach gives about it and other coaches gives about it. it it's really important going out there and playing those games. Can you get a taste now after having played two Big Five games, just how different these games are than a normal non-conference game? For sure, I mean, it, it doesn't matter what who the team is, how good they are if they're not, but everybody's going out every night playing hard in those big five games because they're so important to these teams in the Philadelphia area. City, what was the advantage you felt you had tonight? Um, I wouldn't really I mean, say advantage. I, I, just, I just think that uh, I try to just take what the defense gives. I mean, they are an extremely tough defensive team. They make you take tough shots even when you feel like you're one-on-one. -on -one, so. Just all the, all the practice of uh, post post moves and practice every day, just on the like, tough comp like tough defense. I think it was just a, a help, like, just a repetition and the habits of trying to finish with both hands and things of that and that nature. So, but they were just I mean, tough defensive team, so they made us t have to take tough shots. Did you feel on one with different defenders? Actually? Oh yeah, I mean it was uh, everybody, but it was like it, even though it was a different defender, uh, sometimes like, they all kind of play hard. They all play you know chest. Uh, test of chess and just play hard. So I just think, uh, you know, it was just different uh, advantage every time. Jay, well, what went into that decision to uh, allow the Yeah, that, that's one of those ones, you know, you lose the game and, and you put them in there with two fouls and, you know, you just said, what an idiot, you know. And we were lucky to get, get by with that. Um, I said him we couldn't start him in the second half, you know, and and as a, as a tribute to our young guys, to Justin and Jeremiah and Sadiq, those guys, you know, Collins are our brains out there, um, but we got off to a good we got off to a good start in the second half with without him in there, it was pretty good. So he was fresh, it was good. I think it helped us at the end of the game. He was fresh, hit his free throws, so it actually turned out to be a positive, but could have been a bad coaching move there. It's tough to guard because it kind of it tests your stamina and just kind of your mindset, like to really be locked in to guard him after him having the ball for so long. But he he was making some tough shots, so I was from a standpoint I was I was glad with some of my defensive standpoints. But he he was hitting some tough shots because he he's been through these situations so many times. But I feel like it can just kind of help you mentally to want to stay locked in guarding somebody that that can pivot, find people, keep pivoting, shot fake, pivot, and go a scoop shot, and it's just a tough shot to defend, but it's a lot of fun. Is that the lesson you take away from this game? I would say for sure, just always stay, staying, paying attention to the scout, knowing that, because we talked about knowing that he does pivots, shot fake, looking out the pass, another pivot and a scoop. So it's just staying locked into the scout on those type of players and then just staying mentally focused and locked in during the game to guard those players. I think towards the end, you know, I think he was a little fresher. Just that he does so much, you know, for them offensively. And then we were trying to get him in ball screens. I think just kind of at the end, he, he was just a little fresher at the end where he'd been guarding ball screens all night, all night, chasing him out on the floor. And now now he's got to guard in the post, too. That, that's what I, uh, what I was referring to as the mental toughness and the discipline. 
and you know they, they they've been very successful because of their ability to play that style and and be dialed into their game plan till the last second of the game and a lot of teams will hang you know for a while or even get up on them and they get sloppy and they just they're disciplined and they're well coached and that was a sign of us being able to do that it was really the first game we've done that this year even games we've won we were we're learning how to do that you just you need the experience and you need to play against teams that do it you know we didn't do it in the LaSalle game you know we had a 20 point lead we got sloppy they kept they kept playing so we're learning there's like again we're Win or lose, we knew this was going to be good for us. You know, we were going to come out of it. We we're going to learn. We we're going to go back to work. Now we're going to have to go play St. Joe's. It's going to be the same thing. They know everything we do, and we're going to have to be mentally disciplined for 40 minutes and uh, and see if we can do it two nights in a row. Anything else? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.